Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews. This time we are gonna go through the new cartoon collection, Prince Adam and Cringer. Oh my god, how amazing is this? It's can't believe it has been what eighties, nineties, two thousands, forty plus years. We've been waiting for this type of figure to actually re arrive, and we've just got it. Absolutely crazy. Not only can you see the figure from the boxed window, the artwork again, you know I love the artwork. There he is, just chilling with Cringer in the back there, evil in Triclops, Skeletor. But that artwork is just absolutely fantastic. Loving it. So there's a little, a few nods there. It's that little imp there on the side of the box. That little creature, that Teela. Teela, I mean, Teela's pet or something, that little creature. And then on the back, bam! So, by the power of Greyskull. Absolutely cracker of the packaging on this artwork superb let's crack this bad boy open and have a little closer look getting them out of the box and it's like oh my god this is absolutely fantastic so you have got I mean Adam in those colours that pink outfit and lilac little leggings going on. The sculpt on the face is just superb. Absolutely superb. The actual swap, he comes with a swappable head. And just look at that grin. <laughs> Rather fantastic, and, and even down to the chin as well. He's got with the dimple in his chin. So let's have a little pop off of this one. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, praise the Lord! <laughs> I mean, not only Adam. We have the Cringer as well. Uh, every single detail of this is fully poseable. So, compared to the other first Battle Cat in Origins that we got, I wish Battle Cat would come out with this poseability as well. So, look at the head. The head twists, bobble round. The neck also twists and bobbles round. The waist... Posability in the waist. The tail is on a ball joint. 360 up, down, round. The legs. Not only do they all have a ball joint at the top. They've got the knees. And now they've even got the ankles on them. So for you guys that like to do the photographic type of figure art. This is the Battle Cat. Or the Cringer for you. It's absolutely fantastic. So the detailing. So he comes with like two heads. This one he's got on. It's got a fixed mouth. With just his little snaggle tooth. Popping out the side there. But then there's this surprise look. And the mouth. The jaw. Completely fully opens. I mean, look at the little teeth in there as well. It's like, oh no, Adam, please don't. <laughs> so let's pop his head off and get this one on. Ugh. Wow. Absolute wow. I mean, he comes with his uh, little sword, his little power sword there. That's the other other accessory. Posability on these figures is absolute. It's an absolute standout. So, 
you've still got the same articulation with all the Origins figures, so the arms do splay out, they do a 360. Even with this shoulder strap going over on this, it's soft, it's soft plastic, so it doesn't restrict the actual poseability of the arms as well. You've got the usual ball joint on the elbow, ball joint and rotation on the hand, twist around the waist. Let's have a little look. This will pop open so you can take these off. We'll get to that in a minute. Twist around the waist, legs splay out, back and forth, knee joint, twist around the boot cuff and an ankle ball joint as well. So let's have a little look. Pop off pop off pop back on so you could have Adam with his pink top off there I mean this is just like flexible flexible plastic vinyl type of stuff it's got a little clip Let's, look, let's have a little look at it. So, there is a, like a little plunger clip at the front where you can secure it. And let's see his poseability, even his hand, I think, yeah? His hand is on that tilt. So when you do put his sword in his little gripper hand, So you can see he can actually hold the sword up perfectly straight. By the power of Grayskull. Again, there is just so many poses that you can do with Adam, especially obviously Cringer. I mean, look at him fully sitting down there with his hind legs all bunched up at the back. You know, so this let me just splay these legs out completely so there he is fully stretched out as well even on the bottom of his feet he's got his little toe beans there as well <laughs> and on the front the it's just what a figure but tell you have like outdone yourself I mean will we get a battle cat version of this I really do hope so but let me know your thoughts Drop us those comments. Have you guys got this yet? Have you even ordered it? Just let me know what you think of it. I absolutely think this is friggin' amazing. Absolutely amazing. While you're there dropping them comments, do the usual with the like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. Got loads more of these to come. But well, thanks for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next. Take care, guys. Have fun.